it was a winter time that he was walking with his family. So all of a sudden he saw fire on the right side of Mount Dur. Uh, he saw fire on the right side of Mount Dur. So he asked his family to stay. He said, I saw fire on, on the right side of the mountain. So I will find the direction that which direction we need to go. And also I will bring a torch of fire so, I, so you guys can stay warm. So please wait for me here. I'll bring some fire for you and I'll bring also the direction that which direction we need to go. So as soon as Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, arrived close to the fire, which was appearing on the west side of Mount Tur. Then Prophet Moses heard that it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala started talking to Prophet Moses, peace be upon him. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, that, O oh Moses, this is your Lord, Allah, and you are in a clean and very sacred ground of Tuwa. You know, it, and you're, you're in very, it was very close to Mount Tur, where this was the same spot where Prophet Moses used to talk to his Lord live. Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, is the only person on the face of earth who talked to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala live and he used to talk to him all the time. So this is, he has, this is the honor of only Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, that he talked to Lord Allah live one to one uh, from behind the curtain or like he couldn't see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but he could hear him clearly and he could uh, understand whatever is said and they used to have a conversation like normal people talk to each other that's the way they were communicating with each other so this is the honor of Prophet Moses peace be upon him only that he talked to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly and this is the honor of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, that who talked to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala similar way above the seventh sky in the night of Isra, in the night of Miraj, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, for the visit for the whole universe. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed him all the signs and all different things in paradise and hellfire, in all the different things as it is mentioned in a Sahih Ahadith. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talked to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, above the seventh sky as he talked to Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, on the face of this earth. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talked to Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, and told him, this is Allah, your Lord, and you are in a very sacred ground. And O Moses, remove your shoes and come close to, close to me. So Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, took off his shoes. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that Moses, I have chosen you for my service among the people and you go to Pharaoh and tell him that your Lord wants you to worship only him, like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants Pharaoh to worship only Allah, not the worldly things or his own created gods, and also the chiefs of Pharaoh. So when Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, heard Allah Ta'ala saying that, he said that, O oh my Lord, I have killed one of their guy. I have killed 
one of the men from Pharaoh nation. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I know that, but that happened by an accident. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, everything that how at the time of his birth, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inspired the mother of Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, that she put Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, in a chest and float him on River Nile. And then the enemy of Allah and enemy of Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, Pharaoh will lift Prophet Moses, peace be upon him. And then Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, will be raised in the palace in and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also told uh, Prophet Moses about the murder he committed by mistake. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told him that how he flew from Egypt to Madian. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted him with his blessings, whole family in Madian and made an arrangement for him to live for some years so he can he can he can have his family and have refuge from the pharaoh and his officials but after that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted him to serve mankind and serve children of israel and want prophet moses peace be upon him to act as a messenger of God, as a beloved messenger of God, so he can guide mankind towards the right path and towards the right religion. So Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, when he heard from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all this, he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the first prayer, Kala Rabbi Shrahli Sadri, that, O oh my Lord, he asked his Lord, O oh my Lord, Rabbi Shrahli Sadri, open my heart for me. Why Yasserli Amri and make my work easy for me. Wahlul Uktatam Millisani and open open the the twist or open the stammering or open some kind of issue. Prophet Moses, peace be upon him with his tongue so please release that yafkahu kauli so people can understand me better so prophet moses peace be upon him asked from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that like you know allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open his chest for him and make his conversation easy for him and make his work easy for him and then also make his conversation understandable to people so when he communicate to people they understand what he say also he asked allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in these verses that uh, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make his own brother aaron he, wa he wanted his own brother aaron to act as a assistant or act as a minister for prophet moses peace be upon him so he asked for the messengership of his brother Aaron, peace be upon him as well. So he said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, my brother Aaron has better communication skills and people will understand him better than me. So please allow him to go with me as well. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted him all that and then ordered him that both of you, Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, and Prophet Aaron, peace be upon him. You both go to Pharaoh and the chiefs of Pharaoh and invite them towards the religion of Allah and told, tell them that to release the children of Israel from their prison. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant Pharaoh and the chiefs also the good life in this world and the world after. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then asked Prophet Moses peace be upon him that what do you have 
in your right hand. So Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, mentioned, this is my staff. So he mentioned, this is my stick. And as he was too much engaged and he was enjoying it too much, the conversation with his Lord. So he wanted the conversation to prolong. So then he started mentioning the attributes and the, started mentioning the features of his stick, his staff that he had, he was carrying in his right hand. He mentioned to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that with this stick, I clean leaves for my animals. I, you know, I, I take assistance from it when I need to sit and he keep on mentioning because he wanted the pro, the conversation to be prolonged. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala heard Prophet Moses peace be upon him and then asked him to throw that staff on the in the ground. So when Prophet Moses peace be upon him throw the staff, his stick on the ground, it converted into a big cobra, a big snake or you can call it anaconda which Prophet Moses himself got scared from and as soon as he saw, he saw the snake he started running away then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called him that oh Moses don't be scared hold the snake again and it will convert back into the stick it will convert back into your staff as it was before. So he did so. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, to put his hand under his shirt. So he did that. And when it came out, it came like shining white, shining, it was came out bright, shining white hand. So that was another miracle given to him. It's called Yade Beza, like, you know, like, like white hand was given to him as another miracle to show Pharaoh and his chiefs. So total, they say about nine miracles were given to Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he could convert people to Islam and he could guide them towards the right path and he would believe him because that was the age of magic. So people does not believe on regular magic, but they will definitely believe on the miracles of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does miracles. He does not do magic. Amen. <laughs> 
واضمم إليك جناحك من الرهب فذلك برهانان من ربك إلى فرعون وملئه إنهم كانوا قوما فاسقين قال رب إني قتلت منهم نفسا فأخاف أن يقتلون وأخي هارون هو أفصح مني لسانا فأرسله معي رد أن يصدقني رد أن يصدقني إني أخاف أن يكذبون قال سنشد عضدك بأخيك ونجعل لكما سلطانا فلا يصلون إليكما بآياتنا أنتما ومن تبعكم الغالبون فلما جاءهم موسى بآياتنا بينات قالوا ما هذا إلا سحر مفترى وما سمعنا بهذا وما سمعنا بهذا في آبائنا الأولين وقال موسى ربي أعلم بمن جاء بالهدى من عنده ومن تكون له عاقبة الدار إنه لا يفلح الظالمون وقال فرعون يا أيها الملأ ما علمت لكم من إله غيري فأوقد لي يا هامان على الطين فاجعل لي صرحا لعلي أطلع إلى إله موسى لعلي أطلع إلى إله موسى وإني لأظنه من الكاذبين واستكبر هو وجنوده في الأرض بغير الحق وظنوا أنهم إلينا لا يرجعون فأخذناه وجنوده فنبذناهم في اليم فانظر كيف كان عاقبة الظالمين وجعلناهم أئمة يدعون إلى النار ويوم القيامة لا ينصرون وأتبعناهم في هذه الدنيا لعنة ويوم القيامة هم من المقبوحين 